Greetings, everybody. Today I have in front of me a Death Grips dating sim, apparently. A ride to love. Apparently this is some sort of, like, de decision-based choice game, like, multiple choice game. Um, made by, like, some sort of small <laughs> Death Grips fan. So, I have no idea what to expect from this. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit the fucking talk and we're just gonna do this. I have not played a lick of this game before. So, um, hopefully this is good. We are finally am in front of my new high school. With some luck, I may make some friends and maybe get in a relationship. Wow, wow. Some unrealistic goals in this, in this day and age. What do you think, chat? Should I go in the school or take some time to examine that? You know what? Fuck you. I'm going to the school. Uh, I don't got time for no fucking surroundings. The, the, the meeting was brief. Oh shit, the headmaster's here. One last thing, I don't want you to be lost here, so a student from your class will give you a tour. He should arrive soon. Ah, speak of the devil, Zachary. Oh, this is Zach Hill. Hey! Hello, sir! He looks like he's off all sorts of things. Wow. Zachary looks at me. I'm lost in his eyes already. Hey, you must be the new student! No shit! I had no idea. Nice to meet you. The name is Zach Hill. What did I say? I think we are in the same class, so if you ever need anything, feel free to ask. Wow. What a nice man. What a nice, kind, non-confrontational man. Zach Hill. The model student. So what are your thoughts about the school? Um, fuck the school. Uh, doesn't seem that cool. Haha, <laughs> you're probably right. What the hell is that face? Jesus Christ. He looks like he just injected himself with Botox. Uh, but don't worry, if you know the right people, they may make your stay somewhat bearable. The headmaster says, you're free to shit on my school, but not in my office? Why? Why else would I come into your office? Get out of here and give your damn tour. Jesus, he's a bit pushy. Hey, I just realized I haven't asked your name yet. My name is... Oh, do I get to choose it? My name is... Reginald. Yes, I'm Reginald. So it's Reginald, I got it right. No, you fucking idiot. It's Albus. Albus. Albus Dumbledore. Yes. Well, then let's go, Albus. We went through the labs. Oh, shit. We're going into Breaking Bad territory. The library and more. Then Zack stopped in front of a door. Oh, no, not a door. So I think we're done. You know what the place looks like. But I still have a little something to show you. Oh, God, he's going to show me his cock. No, please. Behind this door is the best room of the school. Are you interested? I mean, if it's not a gay strip club, it can't be that fucking interesting. Um, no, fuck you. I don't care about your door. I don't know. I'd better get going. Too bad, because I'm showing you anyway. Oh, God. Oh, it's the music room. Okay. Well, uh, I suddenly give less of a shit than I did before. Uh, the room is empty except for a few instruments around two guys. Their backs turn to me. This is where my friends and I rehearse. You don't have to be ashamed, dude. Express yourself freely, don't worry. Albus is chill. Indeed I am. I teach I teach at Hogwarts. I don't even like Harry Potter. Uh, hell, hello! He screams, I guess. It's all caps. Stefan suffers from a rare condition he's had since he was a child. Um, that's pretty racist, dude. It hasn't always been easy for him. He can't talk without shouting? Oh, okay. No talking, just screaming. That's why he's so shy. He's afraid of being seen as rude. Yeah, I don't want to bother anybody. It doesn't bother me, man. There's literally no audio in this game to begin with. And the three of us form a band. Really? That's cool. We're making progress. We're actually going to have our first concert this Friday. Oh, we'll avoid Las Vegas. It's going to be great. You should come, Albus. I'm sure you'd enjoy it. Should I come to the concert? Um, yeah, I'll come to their concert. Fuck yeah. I'm going to listen to some Death Grips. Oh, he's giving me the anime blush. How cute. Stop. I'm not that good. I suddenly realize that Andy is staring at me. Oh, God! This is how the fat kid looks when he smells ice cream in his house. I turn to face the door. Oh, shit, it's Beethoven. Oh, my God, it's Cal Chuchesta. You're spying on us again. Fanta- Oh, this is just- Oh, okay, it's Anthony Fantano. We haven't- We haven't seen Cal Chuchesta yet. You do not call me Fantabongo, Hill. Albus, this is Anthony Fantano. Fuck you, Hill. What, did he give his album a not good? Anthony turns to face me. And you, who do you think you are, acting as if you're Stefan's bestie? Try to calm him down, let him- Oh, fuck you, I'm insulting him. Well, fuck you, Fantano, no, fuck you! What an intellectual conversation we're having. He says, fuck you too, Hill. Anyway, I didn't come here to listen to dickheads. Well, you come to the wrong place, to be honest. Turns to Stefan. Stefan, didn't you get my letter? Oh, God. Is Anthony evicting MC Ride? 
Uh, I'll think about it. I'm not really sure yet. Oh, God. Okay, I get it. Just don't leave me hanging for too long. Don't worry, I'll have an answer before next Monday. Right. Bye, Steph. Bye, suckers. Wow, look at that bitch smirk. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, vanish. Damn, he reminds me of my dad. Well, it's time to go to class already. I'll see you two tomorrow, then. We have to practice for Friday. What the fuck is Friday? Is that the gig? So you're about to meet the other students and studying? Oh, fuck, I don't want to study. We got four hours of class coming up. Jesus Christ. But if we take a moment to present you to the class, we may buy some time. Is he going to groom me? Could you try to make it as long as possible? Um... Shh, no, fuck you. As we approach the classroom, I hear someone running after us. Oh no, please don't molest me. Hey, Stefan, what is it? I, uh, I wanted to ask you something, Albus. Is this, is this that fateful moment? Is he gonna ask me out? Would you go out with me after class? Dude, MC Wright is literally my boyfriend in this game. We could get some f food in town. Hell yeah, is it a date? Is that a date I didn't even know you an hour ago? No, it's not at all. Fuck! I just got friend zoned by MC Ride. It's just that you're new here and I thought it may be great to spend some time with you. I don't know, sounds pretty gay to me. I don't mind. That way I could tell you more about school and, and maybe we could become friends. Or maybe more than that. I don't know, should I? Fuck yeah, I'll come. Go to dinner, kiss MC Ride on the lips. Well, okay, I guess I'll come then. Really? Not a date, huh? Shut the fuck up, Zach. I'd like to see you get friend-zoned. Chapter 2. First date, so it is a date. What the- I'm confused. Class ended pretty late. Okay. Uh, where am I? I don't like this setting. Ah! He's floating. Hello. Oh, you're finally here. Indeed I am. Something is off, but what? I'm a bit late. Sorry about that. No problem. As long as you're here, it's cool. It's his voice that's off. He's talking normally when he should be screaming. Um, have I been played? Confront Stefan, or ask Stefan. Uh, I'll ask him. Uh, why are you speaking normally? I thought you couldn't speak without screaming. Uh, he looks sad now. Okay, I'll explain. First, you're right. When I speak, I normally yell. So why aren't you right now? Let me get into it. When you arrived, I took a pill. Oh my god, MC rides off the perk 13. Oh no. The medication allows me to speak normally for a short time. Oh god. MC rides off the Zanny. No! No, don't do it to yourself! Why don't you use those pills all the time? Because you would probably overdose, man. Because there's a side effect to them, they're not good for my heart, yeah. Yeah, I know. Ketamine is not, is not the best uh, thing to be taking in a daily dosage. It's just we're in public, I don't want you to be ashamed of me. Yeah, good, good idea. Good idea. That's sweet of you. I shouldn't do it often, but on some occasions it's a nice thing. Now we can talk without having anyone staring at the screaming guy. Well, I mean, I think they'll still be staring at you because you kind of look like a war prisoner and you're shirtless and you have like a hundred tattoos. But you know what? It's, it's fine. No worries. As long as you don't overuse them, the pills seem great. Yeah, they are great. I know, man. Take a perk 30. All your problems go away for the day. I, I need a straight edge MC ride. None of this fucking perk 30. I, I didn't come to play a Shoreline Mafia game. I came to play a Death Grips game. Nothing like being normal, says the bare-chested guy. Aw, oh, dude, I think I offended him. I'm joking, you're free to dress as you want. Exactly, exactly. Free, freedom of choice. Would be a waste if you didn't, when you've got those abs. Those are abs? I thought that was a rib cage. Oh, I made him blush again. You got that little anime blush. I always forget about it. Feels so natural to me. We go to the counter to order our sandwich. Oh my god! I thought that was Donald Trump for a second. Oh, hi, Stefan. The usual, I presume. He says, yes, sir. Italian bread toasted to a crisp with a bunch of lettuce and mayo. You fat ass. Yes, I work here after school. Money hasn't been so good lately, so I'm doing extra hours. You gotta invest in that crypto, Mr. Headmaster. Come on, what are you doing? It's not too bad. I have great discounts on those bad boys, and I like the smell of toasted bread. Okay, toasted bread is great. I place my order, and I take a seat with Stefan. You know what? Something vegan? Oh, fuck no. Chicken. Give me that chicken. I'm quite in a chicken sandwich mood right now. Anthony would hate you for that. You know what? Fuck Anthony. Because he's vegan. So he's not really into chicken sandwiches. You know what? I don't give a fuck. V being vegan sounds miserable. I'm sorry. It just does. Okay. I understand. Speaking of which, he asked you about a letter. What was that about? It was a love letter? Anthony! You have a wife. What are you doing? Sometimes the pimp lifestyle doesn't look so glamorous from, from an outside view. But come on, Anthony. 
You can do better. Yeah, he's nice and all, but I don't really love him back. Damn, that's tough. He's but he friend zoned me, then he's gonna friend zone Anthony. This is just gonna result in like a three way friend zoning war. I don't know, he's interesting, and I thought it could be nice to get into a relationship and the feelings will come later. What are you talking about? Maybe you should wait for feelings to come first. Yeah. He said we'll end up together anyway. Um, that sounds like a little rapey. To, to, to be completely honest. Anthony just keeps saying it's fate for us to end up together, that it's bigger than us all. Uh, the only thing bigger than us all is probably Lizzo, so I wouldn't really say that. He, he keeps talking about how everything binds us together. The fuck? Wow, you really think he's a nice guy? He seems a bit too entitled. Indeed. Band is nameless. Yeah, look at those flyers. Wow. Such nice clip art. This shit should be in the fucking Smithsonian. The time I'm late, my after-school painting class starts in 10 minutes. Oh my god. It, it, are the stars aligning? Is MC Ride gonna fail art school? The shop clerk says welcome. We need some lights for our scene. Are we shooting a porno? Hell yeah. Oh my god, it's him again. Does he work everywhere? Please stop this thing. Sorry, sir. You work here too? Tough times, indeed. What color lights do you think we should get? Um, I don't give a fuck. You know what, how about red? You already need new drumsticks. Yeah, I broke them during our last rehearsal. Probably shoved them up his ass. If I wanted to split up, it wasn't to save time. It's actually because the music shopkeeper doesn't really like Stefan. Is he racially profiling him? What is this? What do you mean? Last time he flipped out because surprisingly he didn't like Stefan screaming shirtless in his shop. Well, understandably so. He has been banned since. So I thought that you could go somewhere else, and that way we avoid an uncomfortable confrontation. Okay. So we're in the bookstore now. Let's gather these books. Okay, I have all the books I need. Wow, that was fucking fast. He speed ran that shit. Uh, I'll check out. Hey, Albus. Uh. <gasps> Anthony, please. I can explain. What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? It's a bookstore. I'm buying books. Yeah, you fucking idiot. Uh, are you reading? You're into reading too? What's this? The Dumb Questions Festival? Ooh! Oh, just got roasted. I just got burned. Well, why would I buy books if I take no pleasure in reading them? What kind of stuff do you read? Music, history, mostly, and novels. You read novels with genre. I used to be into romance, but now I prefer thrillers. Thrillers are inspiring. Okay, we're not best friends, but I'm not going to slit your throat open while you sleep. Um, okay. Well, thanks for the solid, I guess. It's nice to see you. Okay. The fuck? Plus, I'm late now. I should go hurry to join Stefan. What the fuck is that? Thanks for shopping at In the Book. Hope to see you again. Um, thanks, Martha. There he is next to the elementary school. <gasps> MCEDP. He just came for a cupcake. We gotta get him out of this. Are you okay? What's going on? Nothing. It's just school memories. Oh, memories. Okay. It's not exactly nostalgia, more like sad memories. You know how cruel kids can be, especially to kids who are different. My classmates weren't exactly tender with me. Oh, God. <laughs> this fucking MS Paint presentation, dude. It's so beautiful. It's so touching. Oh. The screaming boy. Everyone hated me from students to teachers. They would call me Shriek Steph. Damn. I could have never thought of a more clever roast. I was friendless. Rejected by all. Every day, I would come back from school. Crying. I hated it. I felt as if I was a nuisance. I was convinced that the world would be better off without me. So I became a Redditor! I didn't know it must be really hard. Oh yeah, those years were hard. He became a Discord mod. But one day, a new student arrived, Andy. Did Andy beat his cheeks on the playground? We immediately became good friends. We wouldn't talk, but we still understood each other. I wasn't alone anymore. How did you meet Zach? That's how I like it, you know, ni nice and silent. I met Zach a few years later. He had been my neighbor for some time, but I hadn't noticed him. Hmm. One day he came to us and asked for sex. Oh, for he if he wanted to form a band just like that. Okay, and that is how our friendship began, through music. Oh my god. We've played together for years, and now we're having our first concert in a few days. Come a long way. Yeah, but don't we all? Chapter 4, The Fantano Case. Oh jeez. Okay, looks like we're in the fucking projects. Hopefully we don't run into Kodak Black or anything. Uh, Albus. 
Today's band name ideas, Homeless Losers. I punch ya? What kind of fucking names are these? They all suck? Yeah, no, yeah, then why would you send them to me? Why would you do that? You just offend, you just ruined my day. He says, I'm giving a presentation in 15 minutes in front of the whole class. A bit anxious. Plus, that's an important test. I shouldn't screw it up. I'm wondering if I should take a pill. No, not the perk 30. Please, please, MC Ride, no. It's easier to walk in public when you're off the perk 30. And it's not like I would do it often. It's just for the test. Um, don't take that shit. Already had once this week. You don't need it. I'm with you. Yeah, you may be right. Maybe. Okay, by the way, could you send me a picture of yourself? So you can ask for nudes. Uh, why? I just need one for your contact profile. Okay. Okay. Just let me find something. I thought he was going to, like, make him a grinder profile or something. Oh, my God. That's horrific. God. I'm supposed to meet with Stefan so we can join the others for lunch, but he hasn't shown up yet. You forget. Quite eager to spend time with him. Anthony, you're waiting for Stefan, right? Oh, hey, buddy. Please don't give my album a zero again. Stefan was worried about you. Answer me. Are you waiting for Stefan? Uh, yeah. Well, he isn't coming. Why? Is he okay? Yeah, it's just that someone locked him up in the bathroom. Uh, MC Wright is right at the butt of a complex sex trafficking ring masterminded by none other than Anthony Fantano himself. And he'll come back out when someone wants him to? What the hell? Why would you do that? Just so we can speak privately? This is some incredibly rapey shit. What do you want? You will delete Stefan's phone number, and you won't approach him ever again. If he asks you why, you'll tell him he disgusts you. You're sick in the head. I'm not. I know what I'm doing. Now hand me your phone. I'm sorry Stefan seems to prefer me over you, but you don't have to be so sore about it. Grow up. I said hand me your phone. Why would I do that? Because I have a knife and you don't. Um, I'm keeping the phone. He can fuck himself. Fuck you, Fantano. You sure about what you just said? No, you're right. Let me correct this. Fuck you, Fanta Bongo. That, that, that's right. That's what I would have said, too. Anthony raises his knife. Um, I'll say duck. I jump back at the last moment, avoiding his knife. This is all your fault. Stefan's going to be mine, but you had to ruin it all. He's about to strike again. Um, hit him before he strikes. Yeah. I manage to punch him hard enough to loosen his grip on the knife. The weapon falls on the floor with a metallic sound. This is not leading you anywhere. I'm thinking about picking up the knife, but Anthony throws himself in my direction. Um, I will duck back. Avoid a punch and get ready to counterattack. Anthony got me. Shitty grab me. He's going for the cheek. It's over, Albus. You end now. Time for the transition to your death. He takes his free hand to my cock and tightens his grip. I try to break free, but he won't let me go. It's useless, Elvis. You can't fight with these vegan gains. He brings his other hand to my cock and squeezes with all his might. I can't breathe. He's too strong. My vision gets blurry. I lost. My cock lost all circulation. Oh, Andy. You knocked Anthony out. Dude. Wow, thank you. You really got me out of trouble there. How did you know I was in danger? We didn't. We're just always keeping an eye out. Yeah, this guy just walks around with a baseball bat around school and, like, never gets in trouble for it either. Wow, thanks again. You think he could have killed me? Yeah, with those vegan gains. We should get the police or something? Yeah, I mean, he does have a knife at school. Don't really know how that adds up. We called the police and Anthony was arrested. Wow. He asked a few questions before we were let go, and this motherfucker is also a police officer. It seems like your school's administration is not so contempt. Ho, ho. Fuck you call me? I say, I think I've got an idea for your band's name. Earlier when Anthony grabbed me, I felt something strong. I think that feeling may be a good name for you. Um, the loss of your penile circulation? The grip of death. Okay, that makes sense. It's a good idea. Maybe we can make it even more impactful. Okay, death grips. I definitely wasn't expecting that one. Zach says he likes it. Tomorrow it will be death grips first concert. We have to edit the posters. Now let's do that now. He says, Yo, we are Death Grips. Indeed you are. Music Nerd says this is so good. Wow. A young Anthony Fantano, like myself. Music from the heaven. Indeed it is. More like music from hell, but still. This is a true success. In the middle of this loving crowd, as I watch Stefan giving it all on stage, I can't help but feel something. I think everything will be alright. I'm safe. I have some new great friends and maybe more. What is this warmth in my body? Um, that's probably the aftermath of your penis being strangled, but at least it led to this moment. A ride to love. Awesome. Let's fucking go. Wow. Fucking 
Poetry. What a fucking experience. It's like all produced by the same people. That's awesome. Damn. So that's how it happened.